Hi everyone, so today I have a free day and I decided to make today all about content creating and also going out to shop for my Chinese New Year clothes. So, the plan for today is to first do my skincare and makeup and then I will have to film some content for Hapa Christine who sent me some contact lenses and I have to do some TikTok videos and also Instagram posts for them so I'm gonna need to take some pictures as well and then afterwards I will be heading out to a cafe um, just to enjoy some alone time and chill and then I'll be going to different shopping malls around town to try and shop for some Chinese New Year clothes so I actually have a whole album on my phone where I saved some clothes that I want to look for in stores it's now, today is 20th of January so Chinese New Year is in uh, slightly more than a week's time and I don't know, I just feel so stressed out and pressured to go and settle them ASAP because every year I'm always last minute buying Chinese New Year clothes I am also re-watching Emily in Paris as I get ready I always like to rewatch shows, I don't know I read somewhere that it's like a psychological thing but like you like keep rewatching your favourite shows for like comfort like you want a sense of familiarity I don't know man Love that and I've always had a kind of like I'm a bit nervous of the lights. This is a big time. Account. Oh, this is Just for me. Okay. So I'm going to put a pause on the makeup situation and move on to my hair first and I recently just pumped it on Saturday so that was 5, 6 days ago um, I really like the perm, it turned out nicely but my bangs, they cut it way too short and it's very obvious that it's uneven as well so I just have to wait for it to grow out unfortunately there's nothing much I can do for my hair I'm gonna spray this um, extra treatment water. <laughs> it's supposed to be uh, make your hair like less frizzy. Hair oil. I really really like this one from Lucido. When perming my hair, the hair dryer, uh, hair dryer, <laughs> the hairdresser lady kept pointing out how dry my hair was. And I was actually very shocked when I touched it. I was like, oh, I didn't realize how dry my hair was. And it kind of scared me. So I've been religiously putting on hair oil every day. Okay, I am done with my hair. Okay, so I just got the clips I needed for this first TikTok that I'm making, which is the unboxing video. And this time around, they actually sent me these um, Sisu Christine lenses. And it's their new collection, I believe. And they just look so interesting. Like, I actually haven't tried their daily lenses before. Previously, I only had their monthly lenses, which come in a, a smaller packaging. So this is quite exciting and today I'll be trying on these lenses and then after putting these lenses on, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup like just a bit more eye makeup and then we can leave the house Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I'm using this palette from MAC and it has very pretty neutral colours So I put this colour over here as my base, like all over the lid and then I use this colour here with an angled brush and I just put it in the outer corner and then I just swept it in kind of fade it out a bit then now I'm using this small brush and this shimmery colour here to put on the centre of my eyelids <laughs> I'm not I'm doing this 
just put a bit inside here and over here as well this trick that I learned recently we like highlight this part where your glasses would usually rest on oh it looks kind of weird <laughs> guess I'll put some down my nose here here as well and under the brow Should I put some on the eye? You know what? Let's put it everywhere. Okay, makeup is all done. Let's take some photos and then we can leave my room. I actually really like my makeup today and the look. I think it looks very, very nice. <laughs> Self love, everybody. Okay, anyway, I was going to leave my house and then I realized that there's only 12 minutes left on this camera. So I'm gonna quickly transfer some things into my um, external disc here. And then we will go. I promise we're gonna go. <laughs> Hello, so I just finished my lunch and it was not bad, it's just really really hot and there were a lot of flies. Now I'm going to go do some shopping and hope that no one sees me walking around with a camera. So I'm wearing this outfit today, there's like a sports bra and these shorts that I just bought from Uniqlo and this white shirt that's also from Uniqlo and it's something that's quite out of my comfort zone. Though it will look like a regular outfit on a lot of other people but something that I have never worn before so I've been feeling very self-conscious like on my way out near my neighborhood I just buttoned my shirt up because I felt like there were so many aunties and uncles that were like you judgmental stairs then now that I'm in town I decided to unbutton it and also because it's very hot yeah but I don't know I just feel a bit more self-conscious but that was the whole point of today I just wanted to like come out and do things that I usually don't have time to do for myself and like wear things that I wouldn't usually wear honestly I quite like the outfit like it goes with my bag <laughs> if you can see my bag oh this is a terrible angle 
Jakarta and I also matched it with these leaf earrings. Can you see them? Oh my god. My hair is so dark. But yes, I have leaf earrings on. Okay, so since when Adobe got area, I'm guessing the first place we'll be going. Actually, no, we're nearer to City Hall. So I'm guessing the first place we'll be going to is... Oh, someone's getting married! Oh my god! Someone's getting married. Wait, no, they just left. Okay. I just saw the bright and group. <laughs> okay, yes. As I was saying, since I'm nearest to City Hall, I think I will go to Funan first to look for clothes. So I am finally home and you may hear a lot of noise, background noise because the rest of my family is home as well. I will just like to wrap up this video for today by first showing you the clothes that I bought. <laughs> so after all that shopping, I think I went to almost 10 stores. I only bought 2 items. But I would consider this a successful haul because I 
usually don't even go home with anything and I got to try on some of the clothes that I saw online. So first, I bought this top from the Willow label. So it looks like a tank top and I like that it's long enough that it can be tucked in because a lot of like shorter shirts nowadays are very weird length like they're not cropped but like you can't tuck them in so I like this. And I like that the straps are thick enough for me to wear a regular bra. Because <laughs> I really hate finding tops where you need to wear like strapless bras. It's just very troublesome. So there we go. And then the second item that I bought was from Love Bonito. I got this pair of leather pants. I, I tried this on and it fits really nicely. And it comes with a belt too, which is optional. I actually think it looks better like without the belt. But we'll see. Oh, <coughs> so these are two items that I bought. And I also bought more things but I don't think I want to show them on camera because I don't want to attract pervs. And speaking of pervs, okay, so I'll just end this off with a little story time and when. I, you'll notice throughout this video, like, um, after when, when I started shopping, like, uh, my clothes was like buttoned up already. Like what I mentioned during the vlog earlier. While walking to Funan, I I was like walking along the road near like SMU area and then I saw I saw this this man from like from the other direction and as I was walking towards him he just took out his phone and pointed it towards me and he something about it just felt very off. So I stared at the man and after he like looked at his phone he made eye contact with me and then he continued walking. So I was very shocked. I was like my immediate instinct was that I think he just took a photo of me. So I turned around after he walked past and I saw that he stopped to like check his phone a bit and then continued walking. So I don't know if that was like um, I mean I have no way of proving that it really did happen but my instincts and my gut feeling told me that he took a photo of me and he was like a man, like a middle aged man just just gave really sleazy vibes, I'm sorry but yeah but I'm hoping that I assume the worst I will not be surprised if he actually did and that made me really really uncomfortable and then after a while as I got over it more it made me furious, like angry, but regardless, afterwards I just like buttoned up my shirt. Um, I've had similar encounters like this before, where like I felt like unwanted advances or like unwanted attention was uh, drawn towards me because of certain things that I was wearing, which is a victim mentality that a lot of um, sexual assault or harassment victims tend to have. Like we have this mentality where like if we didn't do something or if we didn't dress a certain way then this wouldn't have happened to us and that puts the blame on us which is wrong. It's certainly not your fault if something like this happens to you. But I also was just so self-conscious and I just didn't want any possibility of that happening again. So I just kept my shirt button up for the rest of the day, which sucks. I just wanted to talk about that because it's just like these things are very real and they happen every day. Like just like I don't want to say men, but it's unfortunate that it's all, it, it tends to be majority. <laughs> it tends to be a majority of men who does these things like taking photos of uh, people in public and the, the worst part about t like taking photos if you're wondering like what's so wrong about this at first like you didn't get the consent of the person and usually people who take these photos don't do great things with those photos like they may use it for their personal pleasure or they may upload it onto very nasty sites for other people to watch as well or to view yeah so I just wanted to bring that up I hope this never happens to anyone I just wanted to like, put that out there yeah, okay. Uh, I'm running out of space on my camera, so I'm gonna say bye. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to make more of these soon. If you enjoyed it, please like and let me know. Thank you. Bye!